want to welcome everyone here tonight to the Camden Call to Service Summit. Uh, I am Sydney Harbour. I'm the Executive Director of the Community Foundation of South Jersey. And we are excited to see uh, 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 large numbers coming out tonight to talk about service and to talk about uh, gaining a greater role here in Camden. I heard, I think the last count was 375 people and counting registered for tonight. You agree? That means there are at least 375 people who are engaged enough to want to not only see change, but be a participant in that change and that gained a greater role uh, in that change as well. That means that 375 people who uh, still believe that it's the people that transform the community. And that is the why, that is the sole reason why the Community Foundation is happy to sponsor to, uh, tonight's event. Because that's our purpose. Our purpose is to work with people to, uh, to help them transform in, in any way that we can transform the causes that they care about and the communities that they care about. And certainly, we hope that you will uh, sit and listen and be engaged and stay the entire time and answer the call. Uh, at this time, I'm going to hand it over to uh, Harry Pizicki, who is the chairman of the campaign, the Citizens Campaign, who will carry us through into the event. Thank you. Thank you very much, Sydney, and, and thank you all for that warm welcome. I'm honored to be here because you're here, and this is the Cabinet Call to Service. Um, I just wanted to say that it's wonderful to have a partner like Sydney and his board. Uh, the Community Foundation of South Jersey is probably one of the, the best sources of hope uh, for the community, and it's really an honor to be partners with you, Sydney. Thank you. Now, it's my honor to introduce our other partner for tonight, our, our host uh, for tonight, um, and that is uh, Chancellor Wendell Pritchett. Uh, Wendell, as you know, is furthering uh, the mission of civic engagement uh, uh, through the Rutgers community. But I had the pleasure of meeting a fellow by the name of uh, Ira Harkavay, uh, professor from University of Pennsylvania who's been working on community service for probably 50 years. And I told him of my interest, and, and he said, there's one man one man that you have to meet, and his name is Wendell Pritchett, because his life mission is citizen empowerment. So I'm not going to hesitate any longer. I'm going to ask you to welcome Chancellor Wendell Pritchett. Thanks, Eric. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Wow, this is a great crowd. So we renovated this room about two years ago, and we renovated it specifically for events like this. So this is just really wonderful. Um, I see students, I see alums, I see community members, I see our community partners, I see civic leaders, I see business leaders. This is why we renovated this room. This is why we're all here. So, so on behalf of everyone at Rutgers University, your state university, Rutgers is your state university. Um, I really do want to welcome you to this wonderful event. Um, the, thank you for heeding the call to service. With your involvement, I know that we will succeed in our efforts to make the city of Camden a place of opportunity and growth. Tonight, we will share ideas and develop strategies to engage with our political system and other community institutions and create new models, new models for reform and improvement. And I do want to acknowledge our, our chair, Harry Pasicki, for helping us come together tonight. So in a few minutes, we're going to hear from my good friend and a former alum, uh, and our alum, Mayor Dana Red. Um, and we're also going to uh, celebrate the large and meaningful legacy of another alum of ours, Jim Florio. We've got to brag about our alums, and I see lots of other of our great alums in the audience tonight. Um, and uh, I know that with their leadership, with the mayor's firm hand, and with Governor Florio's advice, and with the work of all of these great partners in this room, we are going to succeed in our goal of helping the city of Camden be everything that we can be.
We at Rutgers offer our full and unqualified support for this effort. Let me repeat that. Full and unqualified support for this effort. We are so excited to be a partner with this event, in this event, and with so many other partners in this city, focusing on improving the schools, um, helping helping the city government become more efficient, uh, helping the infrastructure. And let me mention, as, as an aside, one of the other things we're so excited about is our work in economic development. And I invite you all to join us this Monday, where we will celebrate another big event for the city of Camden, a groundbreaking of a new $50 million dorm that we're, going, we're building on Cooper Street. Between 3rd and 4th Street, the event, the groundbreaking, is at 11 o'clock a.m. on Monday, April 4th. You're all welcome to join us to celebrate that important event for our campus, for our university, but most importantly for the city, um, because we are excited about its ability to help us grow the retail environment and grow economic uh, development in the city and create jobs, which we all know are crucial to the city's success. So um, uh, I do want to uh, conclude my welcome and so other people can can uh, come up here on the stage, but I do want to thank you all for coming. Thank you all for heeding the call to service. More important than thank you for coming, thank you for staying. Thank you for staying in the city of Camden, and thank you for staying committed to the city of Camden. And I do know that working together, we will make a difference. Thank you.